the whole world is waking up, you know, to who the Israelites are. And basically it was a video of mostly heathens, you know, saying that, you know, the blacks and Hispanics here in America are the Israelites. You know, they would just go on, you know, line and basically post videos saying who we are. And uh, that randomly just happened to me as I was walking out of work. You know, I'm walking out of work, uh, walking to my truck in the parking lot. And uh, she looked like an Edomite, but she said, why the hell is everybody looking so damn miserable? Right. So, you know, she was about 50 feet away from me, but I could still hear her. And she said she looked at me and she said, um, you know, she said, I love everybody. But she said uh, she pointed at me. She said, you guys are God's chosen people. She said, you're the Israelites. And, it, you know, I wasn't expecting her to say that because you just don't hear, you know, heathens say that every day. And I said, whoa, I said, I said, where'd you hear that from? You know, and then she said, I study a lot, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, she basically just said, you guys are the Israelites. And she said, you know, I love you guys. And, you know, I love all people, you know, the spirit that, you know, the heathens come in. Now, she could have been an Israelite. You can't just X her out because she looked like an Edomite. You know, I'm just saying that's how she looked. But, you know, and that's really not a surprise, but. Um, it was a surprise to me because, you know, how random it was. But at the same time, the prophets, Yahweh Shai has the prophets out there week in and week out doing this work. So the word is 100 percent out there. You know, so really we can't we shouldn't be surprised when people come up to us and say certain things. But then sometimes it'll catch you, you know, it'll catch you off guard sometimes. You know, if it's only, you know. <laughs> three people in the parking lot and somebody looks at you and says, you know, you're God's chosen people. You're the Israelites, you know, and that furthermore proves that, you know, we are those people because, you know, that didn't happen a lot back then, you know. Shalom, Shalom, call I am law. Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, Redash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwav sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, as you just heard, man, the brother had a beautiful, very beautiful, uplifting and spiritual testimony. And it's kind of crazy how, you know, and it's beautiful also too how Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah works, man, because I had, <laughs> I got a testimony too for y'all beloved Akin Wa Akwaf, man. You know, and, and what the brother basically stated, man, is true, man. These heathens, which they, a majority of them already knew and already know. But now Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is putting the spirit on these heathens to basically make them speak it, man. You know? And it's man, call all Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Dash, man. This is beautiful, man, because like like the brother's testimony, man, if you if you if you woo, man, I, I advise you to go back and watch it again, man, because you know, I uh man, this literally happened to me, uh uh, I want to say maybe this week or last week. I think it was maybe this week. Matter of fact, it, I think it was Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken, man. I, I was literally just getting into work. You know, I walked into work and, you know, I don't know if uh, 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 if, if I stated it or if, or if you heard it, but I got, you know, a few heathens in my job, you know, obviously Esau and uh, this one Hamite. And I can, you know, his spirit shows me that he's Ham. You know what I'm saying? His spirit shows me that he's Ham. You know, the way he conduct himself, how he talked, everything else, you know, his spirit his, itself shows me that he's a heathen. But basically, you know, I, can't, I literally I just came into work. I saw him, and, you know, and uh, he basically was doing something. And he looked at me he, like he looked at me like dead serious. And he just said, hey, man, you look like Jesus, man. And I just, you know, I smirked a little bit. And, you know, he, he, he just, you know, he was serious as hell. He wasn't joking. He wasn't trying to be funny. He literally looked me dead in my eyes and said, he said, hey, man, you look like Jesus Christ, man. 
And I, you know, I gave a little smirk smile, you know, and just, you know, I said good morning and kept it moving, man. But this just shows you, man, that Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shah is putting the spirit on these heathens, man, to, to, to confess that they know this, man, and that they've been new this, man. Or even if, they, even if they didn't, he's making them realize who his people is, man. Okay, so I'm going to get a few scriptures, man. This ain't going to be no long lesson. It's going to be a straight to the point lesson. So let's go to Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7, and it reads this. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. So you, 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 those fake nationalities that you were before are no more. Okay, you're not a Chinese, you're not a Japanese, you're your Ammon, you're Moab, you're not an Arab, no, you're Ishmael, you're not a so-called African, no, you're a son of Ham, okay, period, man, you're, 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 no, you're no more a, a so-called black, okay, you're, you're from the tribe of Yahweh, man, you're, you're not a Mexican, you're from the tribe of uh, uh, Yahashakar, okay, you're not a Jamaican or a West Indies. You're by Yun Yun, okay? By Yum Yun, okay? Point blank, period. You're not a Haitian. You're Lawoya, okay? Period, man. And the veil that is spread over all nations, all nations, not just Israel, all nations. And furthermore, majority of these other nations really know their biblical nationality. Ask Ishmael. He knows he's an Ishmaelite. Okay, if you add, if you truly come across certain Hamites, they'll they'll admit, yeah, I'm from the nation of Ham. Okay, man, these people know who they are, man, and that's the power and spirit of Yahweh Shimei Yahushai making that flourish upon the earth right now, man. So Esau, all, all that work that he did is being destroyed right before your eyes, man. But let's continue, man, because you know the Lord said this, man, and just like the brother said, man, uh, the, the the lady she said she appeared to be Edomite, but she said you're, you're God's chosen people. So what does that make us, man? Okay, what does Yasharala mean? I'm not going to say it. What does Yasharala mean, man? What does it mean? Let's get a scripture, man. This is Psalms 82. You you should know what Yasharala means, man, because every Hebrew word has a meaning to it. Okay, this is Psalms 82, verses six to eight. I have said, ye are gods. So why are we gods? And that's lowercase gods. Why are we gods? I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. This, hey, if, you didn't, if you didn't realize what I just did, I asked you what Yasharala just meant, and I just read it to you on a, in a scripture. Verse 6 again, I have said, ye are gods, and why are we gods? Because this is where we get our name from. Israel in the English, in the Lashawan Kodash, which is the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient tongue, the holy tongue, Yashara Allah. Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. We, we are doing our job right now. We're judging the earth through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Judging not just our nation, but all 17 nations. And with our nation included, that's 18 nations that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has established, created, formed, fashioned. Period. Okay, but Yasharala is literally in the first scripture uh, of Psalms 82 verse 6. OK, because we are sons of the living power. We are sons of God, of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's what Yasharala means, man. OK, so that's what these heathens are. That's what these heathens are finally realizing and seeing and which majority of them already knew. But they truly believe that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai was never, ever going to wake up his chosen, his elect inside of that chosen house, man. So like inside of that chosen nation. They, they, they truly thought that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah was never, ever going to wake up his election in his chosen nation, which is the house of the water, man. But let's continue because I got two more that I want to read and then we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter three, because this is what this is. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is, 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 is prepping everything, man. Okay. Everything is, 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 is at a preparation stage, man. Everything is being prepped. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter three. Let me highlight it a different color. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse seven. And in the time of their visitation, 
Okay, they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble. Now, aren't we running to and fro on the highways and the byways, edifying? Aren't brothers going to different states, linking up with other brothers, edifying, warning, condemning, uplifting our people to the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah? Aren't we shining and, 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 and like sparks among the stubble, which is the two thirds of our people and you heathen your stubble, man? You're just waiting to be judged, waiting to, to feel that that a uh, 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 fire that's, you know, uh, 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 almost as hot as the sun. That's going to make you stubble, man. So right now, right now, like I said, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is prepping it right now. You are seeing us shine and run to and fro on the highways and byways in all types of states. You got brothers traveling to other states, linking up with other brothers to, to feed in that state to have a, a, a what do they call them? Uh, damn, slipped my mind. Uh, a unity camp within GMS, man. Okay? And we're shining as sparks among the stubble. Because all you people, two-thirds of our people and you heathen, you're nothing but stubble, man. Yahabah Shem Shai just hasn't done it yet. That is it. That is it. Okay? <laughs> Straight to the point, man. I hope you got it, man. And if you didn't get it, play it back. Well, let's close out here. Because like I said, Yahabah Shem Shai is just prepping. So this is also what he's doing, too. This is a... Uh, Zephaniah chapter three. I'm gonna start off at verse. I'm gonna start off at verse sixteen, and I'm gonna end off at verse uh, twenty. And it reads this: In that day shall it be said to Jerusalem, "Fear thou not." So right now we're telling you through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh "Fear thou not." Don't fear, man. Because the, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, has awoken us, man. And furthermore, he has awoken these heathens to let you know, like, look, y'all done fucked up. So I can for my language, but I got to be direct and straightforward so you can understand. Y'all done fucked up. I, I'm, I'm going to reveal to you that these are, my, these are my children, the apple of my eye. These are your future leaders, your future lawgivers that, that are going to run the earth forever. Yes, forever, ever. Yes, forever, ever. In that day. Shall it be said to Jerusalem, Yasharalam, fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slack. And we don't let our hands be slack, man. We put in this work, man. Okay, wherever we are, we can be in, in, the, in the damn bathroom, on, 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 sitting on a dag on sidewalk, in the park. We put in work, man. We don't let our hands be slack on nothing. If the spirit jump on us, hey, look, man, here come a video, man. Here come edification. Here come a warning. From the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 17. Yahweh, thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. And that, the Lord is doing that right now with his remnant, man. He's building us up. Okay, just like, you know, we, 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 we're, we're rejoicing. And he's also chastising us, purifying us, and sanctifying us, man. And, 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 and he's and he strengthening us and making us endure to the end. Adawan Ratazah. Yahweh thy power in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, and we believe all this. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his slaki. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. And we believe every single letter, word, period, line that is I am writing, that I slaki, I'm reading right now. Verse 18. I will gather them that are sorrowful. For the Solomon Assembly. And we, we all here, we're all here signing and crying, man. What do you think these epistles and, the, and these teachings are, man? We're signing and we're crying. Okay, we're just like we're, we're telling our people, warning our people, we're also signing and crying. And we're also uh, 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 bringing forth and speaking that judgment, man. To, 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 to foretell what's going to happen to the world, man. Okay? I will gather them as a sorrowful... So like I will gather them that are sorrowful for the symbol for the Solomon assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach. It was a burden. This is a burden to us, man. This is a nightmare. This is a hell. There's nothing exciting, lavish, comfortable about this queendom, about Esau, Edom ruling. OK, verse 19. Behold, at that time, will I undo? Behold, at that time, will I undo all? All that afflict thee. And like I said, the Lord is prepping. Just like it says somewhere in, uh, I think it's Jeremiah, where he says, your enemy shall entreat thee good. Roughly paraphrasing. 
Hey, man, those times are going to come, man, and, and we're going to need our, uh, our enemies to entreat us good when all hell breaks loose, when, when, when Jacob's trouble is to the max, man. And I really, I really truly believe that's when the Lord is going to really put that on 144 towards our enemies, man, they, they, that, that they're going to entreat us good, man. Okay, you're seeing that happen now, man. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that haileth and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Woo! And that's starting now. But in the kingdom, it's going to be elevated, magnified, amplified. But it's, it's, it's a preparation stage, man. Verse 20. At that time, will I bring you again, even in the time that I will gather you. Woo, even in the time that I will gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. And again, the Lord is starting that. He's prepping it right now. He's making it known who his children are. Whether, whether the heathen believe or forbear, okay? Whether they hearken or forbear, he's making it known. He's, he's prepping it. He's starting it right now. Okay? At that time will I bring you again in the time that I I so like it. And that at that time will I bring you again even in even the time that I will so like it. I'm excited, forgive me. Zephaniah 3 verse 20. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And we're going to leave it right there, man. Lord willing, I hope and pray that this was edifying, uplifting, build your spirit, your faith, your belief, your trust, your hope, and most of all, your fear, first and foremost, in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And like I said before, prior to the video, in the beginning, the brother had a beautiful vision, and I hope and pray that you enjoyed the vision that I, oh, not the vision, the testimony that 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 uh was was shown to me this week on Tuesday at my job from a heathen a Hamite. So again, Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying to the hopeful elect. So with that, I'm just gonna say, Shalom.